All right. <laughs> um, while Rihanna is uh, preparing, uh, it's been a great, great week, and I really, really enjoy being here. And uh, finally, Rihanna, we're going to play together. <laughs> um, thank you. <laughs> well, it, it actually, this piece happened uh, when uh, Rihanna and so, you know, we play in the circular ensemble, and and she look at me and look at stare at my instrument, pipa, and like, this is like banjo. I can't do it. <laughs> 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 um, so uh, since then, we we really want to be, you know, banjo and pipa because also my every time I play afterwards, people will come to me say, sound like a banjo. <laughs> um, so this is perfect, right? And uh, you want to talk about that before I talk about the piece? Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, it's, it, nobody's ever come up to me and said that sounds like a peepa. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> but, but um, we were. I think. I think she was tuning, and I was listening, and I was like, or we were on a phone. I can't remember. And we realized that there were, like, there were similarity. Even how the band, you know, even how the instruments were tuned, and and, and it was kind of born that we, oh, we have to do something together, and then you you came up with the idea for for arranging this song. Yeah, arranging the song. The song is a, a Chinese folk tune uh, from a Canton area, from an, an south, and uh, apparently the title is called Raining Day. <laughs> uh, sorry, I didn't plan it. So. <laughs> Right, we didn't. Um, um, so this, we're gonna, uh, there, there are a lot of improvisation parts and the Rihanna will play um, her banjo tune. So we kind of like uh, gonna having a good time. And Rihanna also gonna sing in Chinese.
落须见落，落须见落，落须落到我身边落，是。
We're going to play some for you. Um, I feel honored to be on the stage with Sekou right now. Um, our traditions are very much related to each other. Um, the fiddle and banjo tradition come out of very similar places as the Kora playing traditions and the Ngoni and the Riti playing traditions out of Western, uh, Western Mali and Eastern and Southern Senegal. So our traditions are very, very close to each other. Yet, <laughs> we just got together this, this week to be able to play together. So let's see what happens. No pressure. I also play the I also play the harp, and so I know what this is like. And this is the reason I don't bring the harp anywhere. <laughs> because it's too, too many strings. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Thank you. 
That was like trying to catch a butterfly. <laughs> so the banjo and the cora are step cousins. They know each other from a long time ago. And we're going to bring them back together. And I'm going to switch this around in a second while he tunes it. So if you've been listening, you know that the banjo, of course, is a, is a, comes from a, a series of West African instruments, uh, but all sort of from a really particular region in West Africa, a couple of regions in West Africa, but most importantly from the Jola people of the Casamance region in Senegal and the Gambia. Um, and so these instruments have a lot, of, a lot of history together, right? They don't seem like they know each other if you know bluegrass if you know banjos from bluegrass this is this is the family from which banjos come okay so we are this is a little family reunion up here <laughs> and so we're going to do a piece uh, a cora and banjo piece from one of my uh, great North Carolina um, musical idols Etta Baker so this will be the first time you've ever heard this before Hopefully you'll like it. Thank you. 
So while everybody's kind of getting settled and having a second, I just wanted to say a couple of words before we play this last jam. Well, I say we. I'm not playing. <laughs> um, I just am going to enjoy. Um, and I just wanted to say a, a, a huge thank you um, to everyone who has come out to any of the shows in the past four days. Um, you've been an incredible audience. You've been attentive. You've been curious, you've been respectful, you've been raucous when the call was for raucousness, and even under very adverse weather conditions for this part of the country. Um, we're used to this in Ireland, but this is, I know, this is not normal. So just to say a big thank you uh, to you all, and it's just been an amazing honor to be here, to be working with Ara on these programs for the last year, and to see the fruition of all of these incredible talents. But these folks have been getting bows all weekend and deservedly so, but I want to say something, and I'm not going to be able to say everybody, I, don't, I know all the names of all the people who have been working since before Thursday, who have been working either all year or landing on the ground and figuring out how are we going to wire the stage, how are we going to make it sound good, how, what are we going to do if it rains, okay, they need this, okay, they need this, now this person, this person in, this person out, we need this, we need, there's been so many people who have been tirelessly working behind the scenes so that you guys can come and sit down, and we can come and sit down, and we can have a show. And I just want to have one huge, huge, rousing round of applause for everybody who's been working this festival. Sound, lights, all the stage crew. because it's a really world-class team here. So this is my final thank you, and I'm gonna get out of the way and let the masters go to work.